Do I just get started? I yeah, of going. course. So okay. what are we doing today? We're just doing like a normal everyday. Um, yeah, we are doing a get ready with me, but like film version. This is the Amy you see on YouTube. Oh, sweet. Because <laughs> okay. I don't wear this much makeup in person. <laughs> oh, so you have like your normal everyday and I mean, normal everyday YouTube. I, I think my like heavy eye makeup is every day, but then, you know, like contour, highlight, brows, and lip, I just know lips are every day, but everything else other than the eyes, because I'm, eyes are what I really focus on, mm -hmm. um, because I have monolids and there's a lot to work with. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, that, that is every day, but then the face and everything else is kind of secondary, and that's what I do for filming. Yeah, I already have my foundation on because I'm breaking out today. So and you don't want to bring a beauty blender all the way to the east side. Yeah, so. that's dirty. Got it. <laughs> okay, so this is the Charlotte Tilbury Color Chameleon Bronze Garnet for green eyes, but I've brown eyes, so we're we're still gonna use it. <laughs> um, and this is just a color stick. Have you used those um, NYX jumbo eye pencils? No, I haven't. It's basically the same thing, but higher quality. I feel like. Um, ah. You can use them as a base, but this one is specifically used as a cream shadow, and it's actually quite um, permanent. Um, I swatched on my hand in Nordstrom, and I tried to wipe it, and it stayed. Oh, so once it sets... Yeah. I mean, it's still really creamy, and um, you can blend it, but for the most part, it stays. So yeah, just give yourself some raccoon eyes. <laughs> so you just go up to your, your um, the hollow part, right? Uh, if I had one. <laughs> yeah. I mean like, did you? Yeah. yeah. Right there. I, I don't know. I have a lot of... I don't know if this is a thing, but I have a lot of eye fat, so... Eyelid? Yeah, eyelid fat. Um, nah. So I don't really have a hollow thing, but if I had one, I think I'm going a little bit above it. Because when I blend it out, it's going to disappear. How long does it normally take you, like, on a day-to-day, -day, if to you're not ready. talking through it, to get ready? Really, if I can really time it, probably like 12 minutes. Do you watch any um, makeup YouTubers? Yeah, I watch a lot, um, but they're usually super not relatable. Mm. Um, so, you know, like the cut crease, Pat McGrath, glitter stuff that I definitely can't do. But I think that's ent entertaining to me because mm -hmm. I can't do it. Do you know Lisa Eldridge? Yeah? That's, she's my favorite, like, yeah. actual guru. Oh, I yeah. watch her videos, um, like, as ASMR, A-S-M-R, uh -huh. um, just her voice is so soothing that I fall asleep. So this is the It Cosmetics No Tug Gel Eyeliner. I don't know about you, but if you wear heavy eye makeup, like, that line between your lash line and then the eyeliner, mm -hmm. it's like a faux pas, you're not supposed to do that. <laughs> and no, I, really? Yeah, you're not supposed to have, like, a gap. Cause it just looks oh, weird. Oh, tight line. Yeah. Okay. So um, I'm really bad at that. I feel like you can tell my videos. <laughs> um, so this is for that, but it's also really annoying. See, I don't like the feeling of doing that. But ugh. doesn't it hurt to do that too? No, it just tickles. I think oh. that's why I don't like it. I'll probably blend out later. Oh, so you normally just do one color on your lid? Um, and yeah. Eyeliner. Well, I'll probably go back and contour uh -huh. if I feel like my eyes look even more flat. <laughs> um, but yeah. Dang, that's like really fast action. Is that the Kat Von D liner? Yeah, this is Kat Von D. Yeah. I've been doing eyeliner since I was like 15, so. Damn. That's why I'm saying getting ready takes so little because it's usually just the eye makeup. Yeah. And then for most people it takes a lot of precision, but I'm just like bam, bam, <laughs> bam, bam, swipe, swipe. Yeah. <laughs> Usually when you pick a color to do your eyeshadow, does it switch up according to the day, season, outfit? Well, I'm Monday. very warm. Mm -hmm. I'm very tan. Mm -hmm. So anything that's warm, Go basically. Ahead. Yeah. It doesn't really go out from like the coppers or the browns. Like this is kind of like a, I don't even know, like a purple-y bronze. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, that's probably as cool toned as I'll get. <laughs> yes, yes. This one I really liked for the summertime because it had this like orange color. Hey, pumpkin size latte. Hey. <laughs> um, Pantone. Latte. Yeah, but I really like this palette for that, but it's usually just browns because I'm very olive skin toned. Mm. Um, I feel like if I was more pale, I would like cooler tones, but I usually sp stay away from anything cool. So I'm taking this Kat Von D shade in light eyeshadow palette. I'm going to 
contour my eyes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um. So what did you just see then? I just contoured my eyelid. So where my see. crease would be, I just went like that. And then on the floor, on the bottom as well. Add some dimension. Yeah. Taking this little highlight. And I'm actually going to use this on. Whoa. <laughs> Kabam! I know. This I know. is a not a timid highlight. This is if you want to high beam somebody. Damn. Yeah. But it's also these lights. These lights are so... I don't know. They're, They're so, so bright. Uh, bright, yeah. I yeah. Feel like you get kind of carried away. Next, I'm taking this uh, brow. Dong Gong Min. Oh, did you get that? <laughs> I see that. Uh, this is, um, they sent this to me. It's from Chosanga. It's a Korean brand, but they Sephora just carried it. And I saw um, in Sephora the stall that says new favorites uh -huh. um, under eyebrow. This was it. So basically, this is the boy brow but it has a sponge uh -huh. with the product so wherever you need to fill in because the boy brow you kind of need hair yeah to you know kind of groom but this is actually if you don't have hair you first like fill it in with this sponge uh -huh. and then you groom through the other side and it's angled too so it's very optimal for that um, it's like my favorite new eyebrow product but I have very bushy brows so I gotta see this at work because I've seen this in Sephora and I'm <laughs> been really interested in trying it and it's um it's a very lightweight product too I feel like uh -huh. um, but see the thing is I have very bushy eyebrows I don't know if you'll see a difference other than that it will tame it a little well do one side and then we can see the before and after okay so this is my ugly brow uh, but see do you see how I'm like going like this and uh -huh. then you can go like that so sometimes I'll here let's I'll add a tail end do you see it's like giving me hair. Oh, I see. Yeah, because I saw the reviews on this product, mm -hmm. and it was just very here and there, like nothing very concrete or selling. Really? Yeah, so I was like, eh, I don't know if I want to try I it. definitely don't think this would be optimal for someone who didn't have hair to grow, um, groom. Mm -hmm. Just like a boy brow. If you don't have brows and you draw them in, um, you don't like that product, or you're not going to enjoy that product. And you can see a difference. It's not really. I feel like this one's just darker. Yeah, um, actually it is. It's probably more groomed. Yeah, it is. I can see it better. Yeah. Sold. What color is that one? Uh, it is actually, hmm, I think dark brown. Oh, it's gray brown. This is also really good for Asians too because um, they have cool toned and warm toned colors. Whereas I feel like Glossier only has warm tone. Like oh, for... Really? The black one though. Yeah, but see, like this is a gray brown which is I think good for me because my hair is not fully black but it's mm -hmm. not fully um, auburn brown yeah I see I see contouring I don't normally do this but when I film it's because my face is very long mm -hmm. so yeah oh and in Korea um, apparently if you have a long face they don't contour down they contour horizontal mm -hmm. so instead of going like this which is where my natural cheekbones lie um, I typically actually contour straight I see. Um, I saw that on a Korean blogger's Snapchat. <laughs> oh. And she has a very long face. I don't know if that actually helps, but... I mean, I don't know if any of this actually works, but... Oh, I can fine. see a difference. Yeah? Wait, if you pull back both sides of your hair, you can really show it. Hold on. Yeah, totally. You can see the difference? Uh-huh. I feel like it looks so shiny right now. It's the lights. Yeah. Okay, so this is a drugstore brand that if I really want to go crazy, this is the Maybelline New Master Strobing Stick. Um, and my friend, when I was going through the breakup, she came to my house with hot Cheeto fries, ice cream, gelato, uh, chocolate bar, and then this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I was like, what is this? And she was just like, oh, uh, it's been sold out everywhere at CVS, at Rite Aid, and at Walmart, and I finally found it, and I thought it would make you happy. And I was just like, what? And she just said, um, basically, it's the new IT strobing stick or highlighter that everyone's been using in drugstores. And she said she bought three, two for her and one for me. So I've been yeah. using it, yeah. And I thought that was really thoughtful of her because she was like telling me how much in demand it was and so I needed to have it yeah. <laughs> even though I'd, I don't know why she would add this in a breakup kit um, but yeah it's kind of I just use it like the Glossier oh wow um, 
Yeah, it's like super strong. And then I do a little I bit like of it. Of, yeah, it comes with a lot. Well, it used to come with a lot of product. <laughs> That's um, so sweet. Yeah, so, and then I just do this. And then if I am filming, everything kind of just washes out. So I even go in again with this. And I'm about to look like headlights right now. Um, this is something that I think is a little extra and you don't really need, but this is the Lancome Sills Booster XL. Um, it's supposed to just basically kind of plump up your eyelashes, but what I think it does is just adds a little bit more, not fiber, but more hold to your eyelashes so that when you use real mascara, it looks thicker. Mm. You know what I mean? It's like adding glue and then um, adding like another element to it to, to make it look thicker mm -hmm. um, and it's supposed to dry white or clear you can only leave the house with one makeup item on would it be mascara no what would it be eyeliner because i have monolids ah. yeah or lipstick lipstick is my uh weakness mm -hmm. but eyeliner is kind of my thing to make me feel put together by the way, this is a Japanese mascara. It's called Mote. Apparently you can get this at, I think like a 7-Eleven, just mm -hmm. any drugstore in Japan. And it should be really cheap, but I paid $30 for this. And I actually really like it. It's the number one um, best-selling drugstore Japanese mascara. At least that's what the lady told me in Little Osaka. Mm -hmm. um, she tricked you. Just kidding. <laughs> really? No, 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 I'm just kidding. Um, I did read blog posts on it though. A lot of Americans don't like it. Oh, why is that? Uh, I think maybe because it's meant for Asian eyelashes because it has fiber in it. Oh, I see. Um, and I, I think... love Japanese mascaras because it's so like waxy. And yeah. Just stays on. I feel it's like a lot goopy. of American, yeah, a lot of American mascaras like melt off my eyes. Blush. That's it. <laughs> wow, that's so fast. All right, so that was the last thing, but then my favorite. This is the Bite Beauty. You have this, I'm pretty sure. Almond? The brioche? No, I gave an almond away to a friend. Brioche is nice too. Hmm. Oh wow, that color looks so nice. I haven't used any of them except this one. Mm. And it was just the first swatch that I was like, oh, that looks pretty. That is it. I'm done. Yes. That's all? Oh, yeah. perfect. Yeah. Cool. So yes. Yeah, so that's your. This is my everyday film. film look. Yeah. Super quick. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for having me. <laughs> oh yeah. No worries. Oh yeah. And then also, if you don't already know, Amy's on uh, YouTube as well. <laughs> I feel like everyone would know. This, yeah. <laughs> no, but, they might not. It's Vagabond Youth. Um, can join me if you haven't been there already, but. Thanks for having me, Christine. Yeah, no worries. I'll link all your information down below, too. Thank you. Description box. All right, bye. <laughs> <laughs>